All right, we'll get here is the next one on that last sheet. I'm not sure what number it is. But anyways, the equation stays, says 2x squared minus 4x minus 5. Find the roots using your graphing calculator. All right, so I want to hit graph, and there it is. Now, I can see that this looks to be a little more than maybe negative 1, a little less than negative 1. This maybe a little more. This looks to be pretty close to 3. But anyways, to zero in on it, let me change my window. I don't need to go out way out to negative. Uh, negative 3 would suffice. And maybe uh, my next value, my maximum. So this window's not great. I always change it. I just want to get a clearer picture of what's going on. In fact, I need to see a little more of my positive. So, let me change this to 4. And graph again. And, yeah, okay. So, now I can see both roots. So, let me go ahead and use the calculator to solve both of these. All right. So, second function, trace. I want to come down to number 2. I'm looking for 0. And right now, there's my little cursor. Let me go to the right. Let me find that root here. All right, so he's looking for the left bound. Right, so my right arrow key. Now, obviously, my root is right here. To the left means we're below the curve. Uh, this point here is to the left of my root now. That still is to the left. Anything below the x-axis will be to the left smaller than. I'm going to hit enter. And then he says right bound. So I'll go above the x-axis. and see where the cursor is now. It's to the right of where I presume or I see that my root is. Hit enter. He asked me to guess. Not really. So I know that value there. The x value is 2.871. Right. Now, let me go ahead and do the same thing and find the roots to this guy here. So I'll go second function trace again. Number two. And I want to move this little cursor way to the left. So I'm using my left arrow here. Now looking for the left bound. Now the left bound will be above the x-axis. See where that cursor is to the left of where my root is. Still to the left and enter. Now he wants right bound. Well, if left bound was above the x-axis, right would be below, anywhere below. Hit enter. He says to guess. No, just hit enter. He says, hey, that value, your root there is a negative 0.871. You'll see that right on your answer sheet. So that's how another way of solving these without doing the quadratic form, you could use this method. So if you've got pencil and paper, you've got your programmable quadratic formula, you get, oh, I wouldn't say complete the square because that'd be the last resort. Look at this method, too, of finding roots of 